Awesome. We're here with Freddie DeMarco at Winter NAM 2019. I'm Andrew from AMS, American Musical Supply. We're at the Dark Gloss booth, and Freddie's going to talk to us about some of the Dark Gloss products. Cool. Some just mind blowing pedals here. Uh, you were just listening to the Microtubes X7. So this is a really modern distortion device that what's really cool about it, and many of their products, they have blend switch, uh, dials on them, so you could blend in the clean sound, keeping the heavy bottom end in there, rather than trying to use a guitar pedal where right. you hit a distortion, you lose your bottom end. So that's a major focus. On this pedal, I'm gonna take the high out of it, and there's just a low level, and that low level has a compressor that's basically feeding that low end and its voice to compress low end frequency and information. When I add the higher end in, that's where my distortion is coming from. I could blend the two and I could have less distortion on any of these pedals. So in that respect, it's a little bit of clip, or I could exaggerate that, but yet pull it back in the mix some to get this. Easy to work, the voicing here, the shelving frequencies, I can focus on different high-end, uh, you know, different high-end type of growl. And the same for the low. I can... Hence shaping my sound, you know, very conveniently. So cool. So that's the Microtubes X7? Microtubes X7, very okay. modern distortion, very um, very high gain, yep. but yet controlled a fat compressed bottom end. Right on. So this, I'm, I'm excited about this, yeah. the Hyperluminal. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Okay, the Hyperluminal, though, what's really cool is you have this Lumina type design where I'm actually touching the um, different dials here and I could access things that way. That's really fun and cool. But what's great about it is it's sound, okay? Again, you have a blend, so you could do parallel compression. I could bring it in against my actual you know, dry signal. The nice thing about that is if I keep that down a little bit, I could set some heavy compression, but when I want to accent, my natural signal is going to come through and I can still have a good dynamic range. It offers three different compressors, so I'll, I'll exaggerate the compression more than I would use so you could hear it. And right now we're in a FET. This is a studio style compressor in 1176. Okay. One switch there, I'll move over. It's a bus compressor, so we're looking at an SSL format bus compressor from a large format board. Then we have their own compressor. has a signature darkness, so it's probably hard to feel that off the microphone. Um, but what's really cool is I could crank the ratio on this, right? Dime out the compressor, which is essentially the threshold, the time functions as the attack and release, and I can get massive amounts of sustain. See the gain reduction holding. It's extremely musical. If I go ahead and change this attack time, I can get that amount of compression and still get my transients out. Check it out. Wow. There you have it. That sounds great. And there's also an app for this, right? That you can. Uh... That's correct. So with this app, you're going to be able to do things that's open ended. Who knows? They're probably going to add more compression and right. so forth. But you can certainly change it into more a guitar voice compressor. Right. So that's a really cool thing about it. Great for a guitarist, actually. Awesome. Cool. So, and what? Tell us about the amp that you've been playing through here. Okay, the amp is based off of, they have two new amps. 
uh, 900 watt amps. This particular one is based off of the Alpha Omega circuitry. Okay. So this is a real cool distortion. Rather than bending down to the amp, I'll pull the distortion off of this and you'll hear what it's doing. The Alpha Omega distortion is more is more of a fuzzier distortion than some of the others. The Alpha, however, is more focused on this pedal than the Omega. You get this. Whereas the Omega is going to be raunchier. And with this dial, you could blend that. Let me lower this a little bit. I could blend it and get whatever I want for a choice of music or sound. offer this growl switch which is found on you know this is growl it's called grunt on some other pedals but the growl switch is really cool it's going to add different vibes to the low end information hitting the distortion okay. okay and same with the bite the bite does the same thing that'll help add some clarity in there so the bottom line is you're dealing with preamps amplifiers with great EQ on them and the main focus being like a distortion circuit that's right. just really wow. really happening very cool. So there's a lot of options there for bass players to shape your tone. So if you're interested in checking out any of these dark glass products, whether it's the pedals or the amps or the speaker cabs, you can head on over to AmericanMusical.com. Thanks so much, Freddie. You bet.